I'm Ryan and I've been hacking things my whole life. Today we're gonna to be grabbing an L car. Only 500 of them were made in the United States. It was made by an Italian manufacturer that made very, very high-end cars. This electric car is completely beat up. We're gonna to head to the woods with Byron and we're gonna pull it out and today's show is just about getting it home. Get on an L car and you win it. At the, <laughs> it's been parked out in the woods. We think it's rusted solid. We think it's just gonna be like maybe the shell's gonna be okay. And there's so many missing pieces, but it looks like all the pieces are there, even though some of them are broken. Yeah. And the wheels turn. And the, the shaft, steering turns. The, the shaft on the motor turns. Shaft on the motor turns. To, obviously, it didn't come with the doors. I'm gonna go look in the woods a little bit over there to make sure that the doors are in the woods but they're not a lot less intimidating to make but apparently even the stock door popped open but the doors are missing so I'm gonna go in the woods to see if the doors are in the woods so we know there's stuff back here we're right next to uh, the lake so this is run by the Army Corps of Engineers so that's what this boundary line is right here kind of fun to walk through the woods. I'm still looking for those doors. There we go. But I don't think the doors would be in this deep. So I think the car is ready to take back. Are we good? It's reasonably well strapped. All right, I'm glad it's reasonably well strapped. All right. That, that 500 is kind of like a magical number. I think it's like 500 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It didn't have any snakes or spiders that we could see, but maybe they're dormant. And then two guys helped us load it, which was yeah, great. Yeah, two guys and two, they people are gonna subscribe to the channel. I got at least two <laughs> subscribers over that. So, you know, if it just doesn't fall off and completely disintegrate, like going into our atmosphere, and I know that's not how you pronounce that word, but we, you guys know I have trouble with words. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of like, um, we'll put some footage up of the vehicle, but we were, it was kind of, Easy, a little here. bit. Um, however, I was mainly doing videotaping. I wasn't pushing. I, I was sweating. He was sweating. He was using. Uh, I think. I think have you ever seen those weightlifting competitions where these men are pulling a train um, and they have to compete? That was the, today's experience. Except add some humidity and add maybe a lot less audience. <laughs> there was. It was a, basically a. A COVID audience with the no, we had two seven people seven. that somewhat smirked or got a smile or something like that. But so um, the things that were really rusted in it are things we don't even need, like the um, some of the stuff that we're going to bypass, like the seats, like the seats or the battery compartment area. And one of the surprises was the back end where the windshield would go is completely blown out. But the surprise to me is those pieces were still there. And I think what saved those pieces, unlike the doors that are completely missing, and I did go looking in the woods for the doors quite extensively, um, is the fact that those pieces were wired with lights. They were tethered to the car. But you do need to drive kind of fast because there's a lot of dirt in there that we want to get rid of. Yeah, we're going to take the, get the, the dirt out. Oh man, all right. Well, more to come. We'll see you when we get back at the ranch and blow this thing out and see what we found. But uh, all, overall, the thing is on the trailer and we are moving down the street. Hold that! Did you 
you've restored Corvettes? No, I bought and sold them, but I had a place that restored them a couple of my restores. But, uh, ah. Yeah. One of the last ones I had was a 63 Roadster that I sold for $6,500. Wow. I thought I made a huge lick. I paid three grand for it. Now it's probably a $70,000 car. Right. The Roadster with the hard top. And now it's a convertible top, but also had the hard top. So what do you think of this little car? I think it's pretty neat. If I was younger, I would I would start that and put something else in there. I don't know what I'd put in there, some kind of motorcycle motor or something. And yeah. It's the start of it. Pretty neat. So someone put a 250cc in it. It's just a cool looking car. It's yeah. totally 70s. My you wife know? said we bought a turd. <laughs> Let me go see if I can get you some help. Well, they both do. Okay, that's not going anywhere. So. So are we seeing anything? First of all, it was intact. The whole thing was that it didn't like, the steering was working. It rolls. So that's like a huge thing. Yeah. You wanna go to like one of those car wash places and just pressure wash it out? I think we should just do it in my driveway. Okay. I'm happy with that. Cause we can roll it out and that that device right there, Byron. Point like look down. That thing is so cool looking. For, uh, yeah. I mean whatever it is. So apparently the guy said, I'm probably box. repeating what you already know, is that not only did it have a somewhat of a transmission, it actually had two um, two gear reverse. Oh, that's cool. I wonder what this is. That's just like a floor mat. Yeah, we don't. I don't want that. I want the video of this. I want the video of it. But... Where's the headlight? Can you grab that headlight? Oh, is it connected? Then we don't have to worry about if it's connected. Yeah, I'll have a blower at home. We can go home and discover this but uh so can you shake that bottom part like yeah so that'll all be gone That's just about this i wish we would have bought a broom so i could sweep you know to to, to be, well i just there, we might as well get rid of this some of this stuff i could have brought my blower too so the mat is it's like this thing If we go fast enough on the highway, we'll get rid of a lot of the dirt. Yeah. So what about th these things down here? These the ones the, these are okay? No. It's, it's like a bench seat, almost, or like a single, like a seat. <laughs> I'm looking for black widow spiders, copperheads. I got gloves on. I a don't. I my gloves are brave. This is, I like the name Turd, thank you. Turd. It's not a Turd, it's a Turd. What I always it's love about, smaller on the inside. <laughs> what I love about, so the level of interest, like, like, oh yeah, what's your YouTube channel's name? What's, what's this, you know, what's this? I'm like, okay, so 85 bucks, I got two more subscribers. All right, that's cool. <laughs> that's expensive subscribers, but I think you'll get more just <laughs> Look at the steering. I mean, seriously, it's not exactly. Oh, that's it's broken loose of the steering column. But oh, that's just a simple bracket. What yeah. is this though? Uh, oh, is there magnesium? No. Why is there a? Uh, why is there a? Um... Oh, that thing. That Do you think? Ignition. Oh, I that bet. needs to be hot wired then. <laughs> if we put batteries on this, it's going to be one giant hot wire. Do you want to go peek inside that garage to see if you can gander in that right now? Looking for the doors.
some pretty interesting place here. 